Star Wars Episode 9 is set to conclude both the Skywalker Saga and the sequel trilogy itself by writer and director J.J. Abrams. This is Mike Zero. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, one thing that a lot of people are very eager to actually see is, of course, the first set of footage of Episode 9 that'll give us an overall sense and idea of the tone of this movie and really give us a clue as to what J.J. Abrams' vision really is going to be for the next Star Wars film that is really going to be the end of the Skywalker saga. Now, a lot of people have been actually really wondering about the teaser trailer, something that we have been hearing about for these past couple of weeks or so on and off. Now, the thing here is this, when it comes to Star Wars Episode 9, when it comes to the teaser, we do know that Disney and Lucasfilm have a one-year marketing plan in place for this film, which means that we are going to get a lot of, you know, material going into 2019 and possibly even at the very end of this month of December. However, when it comes to the teaser trailer, these past couple of weeks or so, we've been learning a whole lot more about this film when it comes to some of the set leaks, the set designs, the concept art and storyboard descriptions. But when it comes to the actual footage for Episode 9, sadly, Disney and Lucasfilm, we heard about this not too long ago, that there would be a delay with the teaser. However, now it's going to be a significant delay for the teaser trailer into Star Wars Episode 9, that we won't see this thing until some point in quarter one of 2019, which means January, February, and or March of next year, before Star Wars Celebration, where we get the full trailer that will actually give us a lot more footage in comparison to the teaser. Now the thing here is this, I feel that, you know, when we look at everything that has been done with The Force Awakens and The Last Jedi and their marketing style, I would definitely have to say that The Force Awakens marketing format was more successful than that of The Last Jedi's. So with The Force Awakens, they actually had a teaser a whole entire year, actually more than a, more than a year than the actual release of the movie itself. So it dropped November of 2014, and the movie dropped December of 2015. This is also probably a strategy by Disney and Lucasfilm in order to keep the hype going and to keep the curiosity by the fans and wondering about what's really coming for the final installment of the Skywalker saga. Now that is a large time gap in between the release of the Force Awakens teaser and the release of the movie itself. Now we do know that Disney and Lucasfilm are approaching the marketing format for Episode 9 in a completely different way here than ever before, which honestly could be a good or a bad thing for the actual movie itself when it comes to the box office results. Now we also knew initially that this actual teaser trailer for Star Wars Episode 9 just a couple of days ago was going to have a minor delay and that now it has turned turned into a significant delay leading all the way into the first quarter of 2019. So that means that this teaser could drop in January, February, and or March. I think that February would probably be the best way to drop it over at the Super Bowl because a lot of people tune into that event and a lot of people are watching on their televisions all around the whole, the whole entire country. A lot of people tune in, so it's probably the best way to do so. Now, when we look at, you know, Disney and Lucasfilm as a whole, I do have a question for you guys. Do you think that this is a smart move? Is it a good idea to hold the trailer off or the teaser, I should say, off for a couple of months until we are able to see this thing? Or is it better to drop this thing during this month of December of 2018, during the holiday season, you know, where a lot of college kids are all from school and a lot of people are also home during the holidays? I honestly think it would have been a great choice. It probably would have been a more safe choice, if you will. We do know that J.J. Abrams, I don't know if you guys knew this, for the Force Awakens teaser trailer, I don't think he actually wanted it to drop on November 23rd of 2014, I think it was. I think it was against his will. I think that Disney and Lucasfilm primarily wanted to do it, and J.J. Abrams was against it. Now, perhaps this is why it was actually delayed, is because J.J. Abrams intervened with Disney and Lucasfilm and negotiated and said, let's, you know, let's hold this thing off until, you know, we get into the new year, and this way, you know, you guys can focus on Avengers Endgame and all the other Disney Disney movies and that's exactly what they are doing as well that they are 
focusing on the word of mouth spreading for Avengers Endgame, Captain Marvel, and other movies out there alike. So what do you guys think about this whole entire situation involving the first set of footage of Episode 9? This has been a big subject these past couple of weeks or so, and it's very interesting for sure indeed. Now granted, we are getting that title reveal in the near future. It's pretty much coming soon at this point, and I'm very curious as to what this movie is actually going to be called. That'll give us an overall idea of the plot of this film. Anyways guys, drop a comment below, let me know what you think about all of this in the comments, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.